What's up, everybody? Tomb of Sargiris. Looking for raid. Yes, looking for raid. Wing 1, the gates of hell. We get to defeat three bosses in this wing. So let's go ahead and get this up and running. Just like the other raids that we did. Uh, Emerald Nightmare, Trial. Oh, fuck. Someone poked. But yeah, Emerald Nightmare, Trial of Valor, um, Nighthold. We're going to be doing the exact same thing. Creating videos for LFR, Normal, Heroic, and Mythic. And for LFR, we're going to be completing the whole wing in one separate video. So make sure you freaking smash that like button if you're enjoying it thus far. Uh, you're not gnawing anything in far back. So what is the point of this? Do I just... Do I have to be behind these things for any reason? I've never been into the target before. Alright. So I'm behind one of these. Alright, uh, we good. So is this like... Oh no. Alright, is that it? Just, that's it? So if we can tank and spank and then just freaking poop you? Stop giving me spikes, fam. But for those of you tuning in, I will be checking out chat in just a bit. Let me finish this first boss fight. Four, three, two, one. one. Oh, that's how you just... Okay, I get it. And then when you get that arrow on your head, you want to get out of the way. Got it. So the spikes that end up spawning randomly, you have no freaking, uh, you can't really do anything about that. But, yeah. Alright, move. This isn't a hard boss fight at all. I mean, it is the first boss fight of the game, so. Exactly why it's like this. Uh, here comes a nasty Falkyar right here. Oof. Not bad at all. But for those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in to youtube.com slash for the win Hachi. We are playing World of Warcraft Legion Live. Recapping PvE content in Legion here. We started off with normal dungeons to heroic dungeons and then we moved all the way into LFR. Uh, we did Emerald Nightmare. We did Nighthold, we also did Trial of Valor, now we're moving on to the final of Tumor Sargeras. So if you guys got questions, hit us up in live stream chat or in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out the description box around because there you'll be able to find multiple ready links, you'll be able to find social media links, sponsors. Um, you'll, oh, I've updated it by the way for those tuning in. Uh, social media links, sponsors, donations. You'll also be able to find uh, our schedule down below. Sneak preview onto this amazing video I've got going on. On some uh, updated content, you'll be able to find a sneak little uh, hint on the uh, bottom of the description box. And also, Super Chat is now officially up and running. It is all good to go now. So if you guys want to go ahead and use Super Chat, uh, please be my guest. Also, don't forget, we do have sponsors now available onto the YouTube channel. So please be sure to go ahead and check that out as well. Get yourself the For the Win Atachi badge, as well as emoticons once we have that unlocked. 895. Oh, man. I actually get loot, but nothing that I can use. Exactly. The echo of the guardian Egwin appears, just as she did in the cathedral. I see yeah, and if you get the the ball thing target, yeah, right behind, yeah, yeah that's what I thought. To its yeah, it's not Never hard. I was, I'm glad I'm doing this in LFR right now because my guild wants me to raid a mythic. My guild wants me to do mythic to Masagir. I'm like, uh, give me a, give me a bit. Let me get back into raiding. That's why we're doing this. 
uh, recapping PvE content just so I can uh, get to the swing of things and then I'll get in there mythic content in like oh, two weeks give me two more weeks and I'll be good to go Alright, boss number two is ready, Pat. Alright, what does this boss entail? Alright, so next draw in 40 something seconds. Oh shit, something just came out. So kill this thing. Got a skull on it. Are these murlocs? My nose is itchy, what's going on? We got murlocs, dude. We got a murloc boss fight. This is interesting. Now we gotta kill this one because it's got an X. And back to the boss we go. God damn, why is my nose so itchy? Four, Beware. Two, one. Okay, my nose has been destroying me right now. Which target? Commanding rope. Okay, so. Why do we have to switch targets? I mean, is there. What if we didn't switch targets? This is our far, so would it matter? Like, what happens if we don't kill the Murloc? Then I just focus on this big Murloc over here. Freaking grumpy raid hero Murloc. Frosty discharge. What did that do? I don't know shit, dude. You know what's even worse? I didn't buff myself. I could be popping up some nasty DPS and people will be like, whoa, how the hell have you not done LFR to start gear so you're doing it? Because my gear just makes no sense. That's why. I'm somehow super geared without doing rage. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, I am super geared, but not doing rating content until for, for like the past few months. So right now, it pretty much nothing to do. This boss fight has nothing. This boss fight has nothing except kill Skull X every time they come out. Like, what's going on here? Dude, is this really it? Ooh. Here comes a nice stuff, y'all. Okay, I gotta move out of drenching water. So, Alright. I heard DBM was like your best buddy. Fuck. Oh, so is this a uh, DPS race? Drenching Marauders does not get removed, I'm assuming. So it's gonna end up turning into a DPS race, which is why we pop time warp. I'm assuming this mage knows what's going on. Yeah, and we have to switch target. Be a nice stout kill, dude. This is getting million done. Million seven, eight million damage, man. Eight million damage. Like again, what happens if you don't poke kill these things? They just keep coming out. So, oh, I'm not moving. It's moving for me. All right, thus far, I think I got the fight down pretty damn good. My mythic guild is gonna be loving when I get in. There. Alright, I'll be checking out chat in just a bit, guys. Bear with me, almost done with this fight. Pop. Oh, get one more Thalky all off. Come on. Two million. If you get the green stuff on, you throw the boss and drop it behind him. 
So how did I know if I got the green stuff? Was that the 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 waters? I mean the green stuff, was that the waters that dropped near me and I shouldn't have dropped it there? I should have dropped it behind a boss. Is that what you're talking about? And if so, I'm assuming I got a debuff and I should have realized that and DPM just said not to tell me. Nah, I wouldn't rely on DPM for that, but if I knew what that was then I would have definitely Alright. Oh, oh, people actually know something here. What do people know? I'm going the long way. I wanna I wanna enjoy it. I'll follow the pets. Man. I detest spirits. Always blathering about their former lives. Consume their souls and be done with them. I wanna enjoy this atmosphere of two massages. This, this is the gates to hell and all I see is freaking water. How is there water in hell? Man? Gates to hell, I am, oh, gates of hell. Jeez, I couldn't even read. This is the gates of hell, so what, what is up with all the water? All right, yeah, my bad. Thank you, Stephen Campbell. I'm, I'm glad you're tuning in, because it's the perfect. Dude, all I see is Naga. How is this the gates to hell? I would expect like the Legion full force, pure green fell flames everywhere. This is not the gates of hell, man. I'm sorry. Blizzard, you've messed up hard. You've dropped the ball on this one. We got jellyfish. I mean, is SpongeBob, does he have his, like, uh, freaking jellyfish catcher going on? I'm ready. I'm ready. SpongeBob would love this raid. Alright, lightning storm. That means GTF to the O. This looks like a nice place to be. I hope nothing just pops up. Nope, I don't think so. Alright, so one more boss, Mistress something. Race. See, it's more Naga. What is it? I don't know, man. I don't know. There you go, fam. Since considering we just pulled so quickly, I'm assuming this is not difficult. Dodge and attack. She's not facing me, so nothing's okay. There's mushrooms over there. I think these were mushrooms. So I dodged it. Ooh, there's ad. Did I get the AOE. Get to AOE for life. For life. For life. Dodge and attack. Tornado. Where's this tornado? What happened? There's a. What's going on? Oh, uh, what? Did she despawn? Oh, you bitch. She despawned. Oh, man. Part two. Oh, part two in like five years, though. So thus far, I haven't seen anything that I have to dodge except these mushrooms that appeared out of the ground. I can't kick him. I would if I could. Yes, I could. Yeah. The tide stone will be ours. Well, that guy pulled. Beware. With power. Oh, I gotta dodge that. Ah, okay. At least I know it's the mushroom. Wait, is that what it is? Alright, so yeah, I had to dodge the mushroom. I hope it doesn't reset again. Forget, I get the AoE in this fight. Oh shit. Oh shit, how do I dodge? Oh, you can just run through it. Fuck, and this is not hard at all. Are you serious? Beware. 
And then she's got the thunder as well. Oh man, this is easy as freaking cake. Is this really the whole fight? I, I bet you there's more action because this cannot be this. Hey, I got a freaking murloc on you over here. The murloc tide color of doom. Alright, so do I do not want to be anywhere near her. Oh shit. There's tornadoes. There's tornadoes coming in. Why can't I attack? That was weird. This is not my type of fight. Oh, I got a 50 coming in. I got a 50 boys. They only did 3 million damage. They had like no pets out there. I should just single target. There's only 3 pets now. Alright, Thundering Shock. Oh, is there more and more every single time? Oh, so this does become a DPS race as well. And then the tornadoes always come right after. Oh, this is not bad at all. My toenail, I think, touched a tornado. Sadly, my toenail is like a mutant tornado. So I do apologize, Naga, but I got the tornado toenail of green. Shit, I'm right in the middle. Like, you have to be on your toes, man. So I wonder if Mythic is, I mean, what, what could be Mythic about this fight? Like, what could you really add in this fight that would make it Mythic? Oh, I'm soon to find out in a couple weeks. Oh, wait, no, this is what my guild's struggling on, I think. That would totally make sense, because this isn't a cakewalk in LFR. What's the purple thing? Alright, there's a new ability. Phase stage 2, there's some purple stuff going on. What is it? What is this purple stuff? I don't like this purple stuff. What is this purple stuff? Crashing, crashing wave. Shit. Oh, I couldn't use it. Oh, you have like 5 years to get out of there. I can go to Bikini Bottom and back and still get out of there. Alright, Devouring Maw. What do, what do I want to do? Not get near the Devouring Maw. Got it. Where is the maw though? I mean, I can, I don't see the maw, so. Not that sucky. Thus far, I haven't seen a difficult ability in this fight. It's just a real, real, real long fight. Crashing wave, dodge attack. All right, I'm out. You fucking bit. Oh, that's uh, okay. My bad. I see it now. I see it. It's taking you with me. Taking me with you too. Yeah. So just in, I, I mean, I still don't get what the purple things do. Just don't stand in them. I never stand in things. But other than that, this whole fight's really easy. Where's the wave? Okay. Stay there. I mean, if you move, that would kill you. Not that bad. First wing of LFR and Tomb of Sargeus has been completed. I mean, unless something weird happens that I don't know about. Which I doubt is gonna happen. Because I can now solo this, I think. Sweet! Give me some loot, please, and upgrade it to Matt. See, that's what happens. Someone got a uh, really terrible legendary.